My name's Hannah McMaster and I am subject leader of media and film studies at Newman. If you study film studies, I always say film studies is quite like English literature, but with films, obviously. So it's very, very analytical. What we do is we look at the how films are constructed to um, create meaning. We look at aesthetics, so all the different things like lighting, cinematography, um, performance. Um, we also look at the kind of wider ideas around films, so you know, genre and narrative, and then sort of critical theories to do with that. So we could be looking at ideology or um, feminism in film, or it could be looking at spectators, how we as an audience interact with films and we look at lots of films. <laughs> I love film studies. When I was a, an A-level student, um, years ago now, I chose film studies. I'd never done anything like it before, and it opened my eyes to everything. It was like a, such a changing point in my life. It's just realizing that something that we look at as a form of entertainment is just this amazing kind of artistic kind of expression. And, um, it just opens a whole new world of looking at films. Um, you know, it developed my understanding of films, it, it developed my breadth of knowledge, so understanding about the beauty of foreign films and black and white silent films and how films today you borrow from older films. There's just so much, it's just such a massive area to look at, it's so interesting. So and I, I loved it, it changed my life as a student. So I want, I want to get it out there to as many students as possible. In terms of our classes, we have nice sort of numbers. So um, our film studies classes are a little bit smaller than our media studies classroom. And at the moment, that's because I think film, we're still quite new with film studies. This is our second year of running it. Um, th there's, it's always chilled out. My, my media room is a place of um, contemplation and um, discussion. I really like to um, encourage discussion and debate with my students because uh, these subjects are subjects that have so much um, context to them. You know, we think, we, we're not just thinking about films and different texts, we're thinking about politics around them, we're thinking about social circumstances around them, we think about what they're saying, we're thinking about the fact that, you know, eight people could sit in a classroom watching a film and um, they could all have a different reaction to it. So um, I really love to encourage debate. You know, we we like to, you know, we have to get note taking, all of these sort of things to prepare students for higher education if they choose to go in. Um, it's creative, it's um, laid back as well, which is what I like. <laughs> so quite a lot of my students end up going on to study it at, um, at a higher level. There's sort of two paths at a higher level. Uh, some students decide to go down a creative route. They want to go down a filmmaking, editing, that sort of route, um, and they decide to go and do a creative course. Some students want to go down a more analytical course. That's the path I went down, sort of actually, instead of making so much, just um, analysing text, understanding, you know, developing your knowledge in that way. That's probably your more, um, you know, more essay-based um, route. Lots of students who also go on, you know, to um, industry sort of jobs. So, um, you know, obviously, if we're thinking about film, there's, you know, there's you could, students have gone into working as production managers, um, getting sort of work experience on local filmmaking that, that goes on around here because there's a lot that goes on around Brighton. Um, and I think my highlight was probably years ago a student who was on the team that won the Oscar for Inception, um, who went on to do special special effects. So they did they started by doing film studies and went on to do that, which was exciting. <laughs> Media is um, really broad as a subject, um, so it's really, really interesting in that respect. So it, it's, um, it looks at all the areas of media. So we look at loads of areas, and I'm not gonna list them all, but you know, gaming, TV, newspapers, magazines, you know, it goes over all the different media platforms we can think of, um, we look at. Um, we look at four areas in media studies. So we look at media language, so how do, how do the media um, producers, how do they communicate certain things to us through images, through editing, whatever. Um, we look at representation, so how different groups of people represented, how are different events, issues represented. We look at industry, so we investigate sort of um, 
industry concepts around you know the money that goes into these um, texts things like that we look at audiences as well so we look at you know who is the audience for that text why how do they respond to these sort of things and we look at lots and lots of text so it's really broad subject um, and sort of has a bit of something for everybody so if you're interested in history politics sociology psychology English graphic design photography there's something that will interest you in media studies because there's a creative component to it, which is the coursework. So you get to use digital technology, you know, you get to do editing if you're interested in filmmaking um, or photography. Um, but you also, you know, like I said, there's a, this whole breadth of stuff that we look at within all of those subjects. So it's got a bit, a bit of everything. So again, it's sort of similar. Like a lot of students, they make the choices. I, one of the things I love in all the years I've been teaching media studies is the the amount of students who come at A level who have never done media studies before and they're not really sure and they kind of want to try it as something that, you know, let's try it as something a bit different. And the amount of those students who have then gone on to university to study it because they fall in love with the subject and that's just so enriching to see. I love that because it's a, something new that students then realise. I love this, you know, where's this been all my life? So a lot of students go on um, to a variety of universities that can be, some students have gone on to creative universities that, that purely do training for um, industry, um, you know, gone on to places like the BBC. Um, I've got an ex-student who became a sound designer and worked for Doctor Who and things like that. Um, and then again, students go on to a more academic um, route, um, got into journalism, teaching. I ended up um, training up one of my ex-students <laughs> in media studies. So it is, it is a subject that, um, once you start it, it, it really sticks with you. Um, so there's there's a really broad route you can go down. There's so many options within media studies. I think sometimes people think, oh, you, it's only useful if you want to study specifically media and go into working in TV or something. But the media as a thing is so huge. It's so growing. You know, it's the biggest area so in terms of you know students who then want to go on to working in the internet um, you know working as um, designers for you know a web design things like that um, marketing events management you know media is a great one for all of those sort of things so it's very broad in terms of what you can go on to do